Hello everybody, this is Chris Nelson at GoEngineer, and in today's video we will be going over how to use the Auxiliary Views option in SOLIDWORKS drawings. I currently have this simple model opened up inside of a drawing, and this is the front view of it. The reason I chose this view is because it has this angle right here, and it is the perfect way to demonstrate what an Auxiliary View is. So an Auxiliary View is a view that is normal to the current view based off of an edge that we select. I'll explain. So if we click this, it says select a reference edge and let's use this one. Now when we do that, it projects this view, which is normal to the edge that we clicked. And with this view, we can imagine that we are standing at the end of this point C looking down at the model. And that is what the view of CC is. With this front view, we can't see the depth, but because we look at it from this angle, we can now see the depth. To make this even more clear, I can drag these C's over here, show the two points like this. Just drag it out and match it up with the dimensions of the view. So we now have this view, which is view C to C. And if we click on this, we have options to edit it. We can call it whatever we like. We can click on the arrow and create a new name for that. We can name it A, and it will change to view AA. We can also change the display style right here. Or we can use parent style, meaning if we change this front view right here, then it would also change the other view up there. Same thing with the scale, dimension type, and all those other options. So we have this view, and the last thing we can do is flip direction. So if we click flip direction, we are now looking at the part from the other side. As you can see with the left view, on this end right here, we have that extrusion, we have that cut, and when we're down there, we can see that hole. So it updates that view. If we click check mark, and it takes a second, but if we click it, it will flip over those arrows to show that is the perspective we are looking at now. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at GoEngineer.